You might think that a huge city like New York is the last place scientists would come to study trees. However, there are more than two and a half million trees growing along the city streets. Most of them don't live as long as those growing in more rural environments. To find out why, scientists from Cornell University spend two days each month from May to October gathering data. Dr. Nina Bosick leads the team. An automated weather station measures wind speed and direction, the amount of sunlight, and other factors. Its readings are recorded every minute. An electronic thermometer measures temperatures on the surface of leaves, for instance. Heat is reflected from the pavement, from buildings, even from traffic, creating an environment that's closer to that of a desert. How much water a city tree takes in and loses appears to be critical to its health. An instrument measures the water loss from individual leaves. The scientists gather their data while the busy city life goes on around them. The team takes samples from the soil, which is usually only a small open space surrounded by concrete and asphalt. They believe that the high temperatures and small soil plots make it very difficult for these trees to get and keep enough water. Each tree is measured for growth by using calipers around its trunk. At the end of the season, they collect every single leaf from the test trees, two to 4,000 leaves from each tree. Later in the laboratory, the surface area of each leaf will be measured, yet another way of determining how much vital water these trees lose. Working in an unusual scientific laboratory, the tailgate of a station wagon, in an unusual setting, the crowded streets of one of the world's largest cities is what's required of the scientists to study city trees.